Hello friends, uh, welcome back to the tutorial of computer graphics programming in OpenGL. In the previous uh, uh, tutorial, uh, what we discussed, we discussed about the illumination model that is uh, the effect of the lighting on the object. Uh, today we are going to implement the one uh, example from that uh, lighting effect that is especially for the local model. Uh, we are having uh, the code for the sphere and this code is given in the description you can download the code you can copy the code and you can paste the code today uh, we are taking the uh, example for the uh, visual studio directly for the test because uh, this is already uh, all the environment variables are set for this example uh, if you want to uh, execute your new project you can see from the previous tutorial how to set the environment variable to execute the project uh, to save the time only, uh, we, uh, I am taking this example directly to that because all the environment variable and dependencies are already set in this project. So now we will discuss about the project. Now when we are taking, uh, talking about the uh, uh, illumination model, we are having actually three type of the illumination model and three type of the reflection and main diffusion is specular. We are taking the example for the specular. Uh, this is the code to when you are applying the lighting effect on the object. Uh, the first one is specular. We are taking specular. You can use diffuse and ambient also. This is the color of the uh, lighting effect. That is, uh, we are going to apply the white color of the light. Uh, and this is alpha parameter. That is 1.0. It's many is that uh, we are taking uh, this one as the uh, three dimensional object. The shininess uh, you can reduce or increase the shininess that is uh, 100 meaning the, it is complete high shininess and if it is zero it is meaning it is the minimum shininess. Uh, the light position we are having x, y and z direction actually in the OpenGL uh, we are assuming uh, that the light reflection is from the z direction that is from the computer screen. So it is always from the z direction light will come from the z direction and if you want to change the position of the light in x and y direction you can change the position of x and y direction from here you can change this 5 10 20 like that but uh, the main light will come from the z direction that is uh, from the z axis and this is 0.0, .0 its meaning is that light is coming from the infinity that is we are having one object you can assume that the source of light for the sun and the light is coming from the infinity uh, if you will change this one suppose that uh, the light if you will change this to uh, 1.0 this value what will happen the source of the light will be at the finite position uh, and uh, especially uh, one particular circle will be illuminated not the complete object will be illuminated other portion of the object will be on the uh, dark side uh, you can say that when we are focusing the object from the uh, little bit far uh, that is infinite source, infinite distance uh, for the source of light the object will have uh, some portion shiny some portion sh uh, darker in, in this way so if you are if you will have 1.0 it will have different effect we will see the result and these are these function we are calling a specular man, uh, um, and met, uh, a specular function, GL shininess and matte shininess and light position we are calling. These are the glut uh, function. Uh, no need to change these values. Just call upon them. GL enable, GL enable for the light zero and GL depth test. And uh, the code in the code we are uh, calling the solid sphere. This is the for the back li uh, background light. Uh, we are calling this is radius equal to 1 and x uh, longitude and altitude values are actually 500 500 this we have discussed already now uh, we can execute the project and we will see the effect of the light if you will see the source of the light we are assuming it is coming from the z direction and uh, uh, some portion of the light is brighter some portion of the darker and some portion is more darker uh, what I want to say that uh, this value if you change this one to 1.0 that is the light is at finite distance what will be the effect we will see that the light is at the finite distance and the maximum portion will be darker 
So this is all about the lighting lighting effect on the uh, sphere. Uh, in sphere, we can call the other uh, uh, other functions uh, like uh, rotation, translation uh, function to show the uh, to show the other effects on the geometric transformation. But because this is solid sphere, so it will have not much effect that it is moving or not moving. Uh, so thank you very much for watching the channel. Please subscribe the channel for more videos. This is a complete tutorial series for the beginners. In the next section, we will go for the other uh, objects for the three-dimensional objects for the lighting lighting effect. Thank you very much.